who was that kid at the end of last episode? He said big brother. He could trace Koro Sensei. I'm guessing he's also a science experimentation kid, but this time it was more successful compared to Koro Sensei. Let's begin today's reaction. Your second transfer student. Message from Special Service HQ. He is our long-awaited trump card. There will be no need for advancing briefing. Simply comply with this attendant's wishes. They're really confident in this guy. All right. Understood. Ryukai. Another transfer student. Here we go. Why do you sound so bloated? What happened, bro? Prone to dampness. He can, like, drain himself like a towel. Droop. Yep. Is he even gonna have a name? Long range. Close range. Okay. He's a melee specialist. They're hyping this new guy up a lot. Uh oh. Kuro Sensei is sweating. Yeah, I expect. I don't know if I got the fly. I expect him to at least get an injury. Because so far it's Karma and Ritsu that's actually gotten a hit on Koro Sensei, right? This new guy should also get one in then. Uh oh, here we go. That's the attendant, probably. Yeah, that's the attendant. No. Oh. <laughs> Magic tricks? <laughs> no, no, don't buy it. Don't buy it. I do not buy any of this shit. Don't fucking lie to me. Why is his eye so beady though? I wonder, even though the rest of his body may seem human, just his face got disfigured. Maybe he also went through some sort of like transformation like Koro Sensei, right? So it's like Koro Sensei is full on octopus. This guy just has octopus head, but the rest of the body is fine. And then the kid is the final version. So Koro Sensei is like the beta test. Koro Sensei is like the alpha test. This guy is the beta test. And then the kid is like the final actual product to be released. That's good. And now it's a humanoid and has no traces of octopus. The attendant. Hello, Mr. White. Koro Sensei is terrified. All about rumors. Okay, we can gas like Koro Sensei. Where is he? Oh, Probably later he'll fit right in. Mm. Gonna take some time though. Itona. Koro. Ito. <laughs> what is that drip, bro? Bro just said, fuck the door, I'll just make one. Damn. Look at that jacket. Right beside Karma. Yeah? I proved that I'm stronger than that classroom wall. I feel like this kid's gonna be hilarious. Just based on that interaction alone. <laughs> he has a personal vendetta to prove against that fucking wall and he destroyed it. Alright. That's interesting. I don't know what you think Horibe Itona. Mm -hmm. Look at his eyes, man. I'm scared of him. He's some like superhuman. 
If I was Karma, I'd be like, I'm not getting myself involved in this. You can pet my head all you want. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Destructive ability. Yeah. Big brother. Blood. By blood. <laughs> okay, what the hell? Goku versus Vegeta here? What the hell is happening? But, uh, yeah. Something like this, I guess, right? They're, well, by blood, I think that obviously Koro Sensei and him are not blood related. Siblings, biological, but the experimentation of whatever Koro Sensei did, this whole transformation, right? It, there probably is some injections of blood from different sources, and that is the same source, and therefore we're shared by blood, is my assumption. <laughs> what is the other? This is like Saint Seiya, right? This is Fist of the North Star, I think, based on the bullet wounds on his chest. It does look more Nappa than Vegeta, but it could be Vegeta and Kaioken Goku. Okay. Well then, that's one hell of an introduction. It's the experimentation. No, 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 no. This is bait, right? We know that Koro Sensei was a human. Bigger octopus mom and dad and little octopus Koro Sensei does not exist. He was a complete human with legs, feet, regular human, and at some point he took the experimentation. Oh, he's reading Shonen Jump. It's Usopp right there. Usopp right there, bro. <laughs> やつを動揺させるためのスクセンなんか。ごさてすみませんね、カラスマ先生。あの子は確かにコロ先生の兄弟。誰の目にもそれが明らかになる。Let's <笑> Probably gonna be on to Booba as well, just like Koro Sensei. Well, oh! The same one! <laughs> it's incredible. That's it. That's all that's needed for Okajima, bro. Oh my god, a fellow Kumer. <laughs> This is a pretty interesting plot, though, but I don't think we're going back into medieval, you know, feudal monarchy. No, Kuro sensei! And they got separated. The tragic separation of brothers. Oh, yeah, what about that part? Mutation. I think is not too far off in terms of how Koro Sensei turned out like this due to the experimentation. And the kid to a certain degree, but to a lesser degree, right? I, I think that there is some value in the word mutation here and what Koro Sensei could be. Okay, here we go. Battle time. Let's see how strong he is. It's like a fight club. Stay within the ring. Okay, no injuries allowed for other students. <laughs> oh, what's an injury? Boom, that's another one. That's it. The injury counter now. Karma, Ritsu, and Itonai. Yup. What did he do? I didn't see anything. What did he do? Oh, oh, oh. Tentacles. Okay. 
So he attacks with his hair. His hairs are tentacles. Shoot. They love tentacles in their experiments. Like, what is it? Is there just some fucking octopus monster, some mythological Cthulhu that they drew blood from to do the experiments of the Koro Sensei, and that's why he became like this? And that's why this kid is like this. And they share the same like strain of the like the mythological octopus monster DNA. That was like the core basis of this experimentation. That's the only thing I can guess at this point. Oh, he's serious. I feel like this anger is not directed at Ito and I. I feel like this anger is directed at the researchers for having another kid having to go through something that Sensei had to go through, right? It feels like that kind of thing right now. He's upset that another student, uh, someone else hasn't experimented on to suffer a horrific fate. Different parents. Still, octopus blood. Yeah, the past. We got a little bit more scenes here. Not much though. It's the same shit. It's, it's the same event again when Sensei is like holding that girl researcher who's dying and wanted him to like go, you know, save those kids. Oh. Cheating. What? Okay, take a new note. I don't think we can really get access to this technology, but he gets exposed to this ray of light. My man is kind of like stunned for a bit. Okay. I mean, they made him, right? They should know. Molting? I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, once a month. Get out of jail free card. Once a month. He's very weak after molting. Now it should be even. That's right. If he loses composure, he gets tilted, right? So he's, his mental state is all over the place, so he probably can't use his tentacles correctly. Nah, early lead is always a bad thing. Early lead is always a bad thing in these kind of battle shonen shows. Cause Koro Sensei will figure something out. Yo, cheating! More damage. He's been looking pretty bad. Oh, it's 2v1! This is fucking fraudulent! Yeah, that's the thing though. <laughs> if we as the students go prevent that other guy from flashing his purple light, it'll be easier for Koro Sensei. Koro Sensei could probably win. But, you know, Koro Sensei is like destroyer of worlds. If they win, they'll save the world. But the 10 billion yen, remember, 10 billion yen kids, don't let these fucks get that 10 billion. Because this ain't right. That's right. Only we can kill Koro Sensei, not you. Now he's more tired. Though. <laughs> Dude, he should have just killed what? What are they forgetting? Hello? He turned into? I don't know. Oh, the weapons. Oh, take the anti koro sensei weapons. It's gonna also work on the kid, and we can beat him with that. <laughs> That was easy. That was way too easy. And also, it, it, it's dangerous for this. I'm sure this kid wouldn't be hurt by a random BB pellet, but like this kid, like we can't, he can't just get hit by those dummy knives or the gun bullets. Take out the trash. 
All right, we win. You're out of bounds. Sensei wins. Kaki Sensei. Yeah, what? This doesn't seem really important. Hold up. Can't just crunch numbers. Difference experience. Makes. Okay. I mean, there's more than just that and why he became a teacher, but like. There's more to life than just crunching numbers. I'm not sure if this is like a specific thing for each one I or if this is something that he wanted the rest of the kids to learn that like, you know, at the end of the day, number crunching, sure, you might be robotic like that, but the human heart is more irrational and it's based on feelings and experiences. I don't know. Yes, those eyes are scary. Black tentacles. Berserk mode like Sensei. Oh, was Shiro? I think that was Shiro, right? Yeah, it's his white gloves. He has so many things just hidden up his sleeve. The other one was like a fucking purple light, the other one is a fucking bullet just to like take him out immediately. Like a tranquilizer dart or some shit. <laughs> just for him. His mental state is dangerous. I'm surprised he didn't use that bullet on Kuro-san. Yeah, who are you, bro? Yes, why not? We oh, I see, I see his... He's just dripped out on anti-sensei technology, whatever he's from, right? He's clearly one of the people, if not like the researcher. I'm not sure if he is a researcher, but he must be like part of that faction. I think Itona got hit by that because he was mentally not there. He was like a barbarian there. Depraved monkey. Hmm? March is around the corner, that's right, the deadline. So he's no longer a transfer student? He's gonna be homeschooled until next time? What? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Alright, back to being homeschooled, I guess. Is he embarrassed? No, I like the serious development. The gag moments are fun for slice of life moments, but the serious moments are all about the plot. <laughs> Was she almost as funny? She took a Koro Sensei impression right now. He was very serious like that. Yeah, the whole like getting he turned all berserk and he was like breathing on his mic and smoke was coming out right as red eyes <laughs> with the same soundtrack. <laughs> awesome, <I'm low> <laughs> funny. Uh, I did. Yeah, what is this octopus experiment? Teach us, Sensei. Teach us the truth. Cap, he's not gonna tell us. Liar. Liar. I'm not gonna get baited. No, no. I mean, that much I agree. If we consider artificial as man-made, as in he went through some sort of transformation with some kind of mythological Cthulhu blood genetic DNA, then yeah, okay, but go on, more details please. Yeah. Of course you are. Exactly. I think it has to do with like again. Sensei being mad that the experimentation is still happening and other poor kids have to suffer through something that he went through. That part I don't get. Why did the girl teacher tell Sensei to go to this specific class? Well, this specific class is the end class where they're discriminated against. But why? Why are these kids important to her? What is the connection between the researcher 
and these kids. Maybe he's a mother, a sister of one of these kids. Why does she care? That's what I don't get. Endgame questions, man. Yeah. Oh, brother. Alright. Assassinate me. Yeah. And teach her a student, too. Bye bye. He was serious again. He was serious again. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Karasuma, you coach us, man. You're like really strong. Everyone needs to step up to the plate. What a weird roundabout way of like uniting the kids and having affection for Sensei. No, you can't kill Sensei, you transfer student. Sensei is ours to kill. Wow. Better get the answer before we kill him, bro. Yeah, I mean, Ito and I showing up. And Shiro, I think their plans. Well, I wouldn't say it backfired because their ultimate goal is to kill Koro Sensei, so I wouldn't just say it's backfired, but it has indirectly or rather directly just, you know, made these kids want to care more and step up. What's that look in your face? That's the end. That's another episode of Assassination Classroom. And today, we got... Did we get any answers? Not really, right? I mean, Koro-sensei said that he's like an artificial created life form, but no shit. What I want to know is, why are you considered brothers? Well, what do we see? We see Koro-sensei is octopus-like monster with tentacles. Itan Itona also has tentacles. Also the eyes. And he can like, keep up, right? So clearly they are both part of the same experiments, but I think that Ituna is obviously a newer generation form where the experiment has been more evolved while Koro-sensei maybe was just beta testing and Koro-sensei was upset that someone else has undergone this transformation. I think that's what might be happening. Shiro is very mysterious. The only thing that we really see is just this like symbol on this back which is just like more circles. They seem to like the full moon and Sensei is all about the crescent moon. Maybe their organization relates to some sort of full moon. But again, it's just like not enough answers. I don't know exactly why the girl researcher has a personal connection with the kids in this classroom. I kind of understand why Koro-sensei became like this and what Itona might be. But until we watch more episodes and get some more understanding of like more hard facts from the other factions. Beats me and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.